Hello my beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another episode of Weekly Angel Guidance. And if this is your first time here, my name is Melanie Kate Love. I make videos every single Monday helping you to deal with the energies associated with the week ahead. Now this week we're going through two phases of the moon. So this is going to be from March the 25th to the 31st. So the first phase that we're actually going through is the disseminating moon. This is when we receive abundance from expected or unexpected places, which is amazing. Then we're going to, from Thursday to Sunday, going in the last quarter of the moon. This is when we breathe with ease and give back from a place of love. So it's like once you receive, you need to give back. So let's see what we need to know. I'm going to be using the Shadowscapes Tarot today. And just keep in mind that this is a general reading. So just take from this what feels best for you. I'm interested to hear about how everything went down for you last week because we had the full moon in the in zero degrees of Libra, which is actually going to be following another full moon in Libra in 29 of degrees of Libra next month. So that rarely happens. So I feel like we were starting something, figuring out what is going on, and then we'll be tying up the loose ends. Oh, it's an exciting, exciting time. Okay. For Monday, your first card is, oh, isn't this what we finished on? Let me just pull. Yeah, this is what we pulled on Sunday. So this is amazing because we were still in that energy of the disseminating moon. Let me pull my notes back up. Okay. So the three of pentacles. So this is having like people around you who actually are supporting you and are rooting for you. Um, this is finding... This is just basically surrounding yourself with people who actually care about you, not just surface level, because this may, you may have noticed last week that the people that you thought were there to support you actually weren't. I know one of our MK Love fam, if you watched my Instagram, um, one of our MK Love fam was suicidal last week and she thought that the people who were closest to her, which were her family, would be there to support her in a time where she came out and she said, you know, I was sexually abused and they weren't there. And she's like, what? Like the people closest to her weren't there. So what does this card actually mean for you? This is collectively for Monday. All right, let's see what you need to know for Tuesday. So Tuesday is still in the disseminating moon. Maybe the support you received is coming from people you didn't actually expect. Okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Tuesday, we have the judgment card. This could also mean judgment within yourself or judgment coming from other people. I feel like it's a mixture of both. I feel like you didn't expect to react in the way in which you did. And I don't think you expected the judgment of what you have been faced with was so brutal. Oh, it just depends where you're at because this is a general reading. But this is also, this is also saying like, however you reacted, just be like, thank you, thank you, thank you. Or whatever is going, being mirrored to you and say, thank you. What is the lesson? What can I need to learn? Because if you feel like you didn't react in the way in which you was in alignment with your higher self, I know for me last week, I feel like there was one day last week where I felt like I had an anxiety attack and I don't think I had one of them before, but it, everything just got too much. And I was like, I felt like I couldn't breathe. And I just felt like everything was like, bam, 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 bam. I was like, what the heck is going on? And it's like, <laughs> you think you're spiritual until you live with your family. And then you're like, <gasps> yeah. All right, let's see what we need to know for Wednesday. Oh, okay, so the sun. Okay, so it's going, things that, um, things can only get better now. Da, da, da. Okay, so the sun is coming out. So you have been through the worst of it, which is what I said, which is what I said last week, but I feel like there was another layer that I, you may haven't, you may not have, I don't know, seen before. But this is like, there is, you know, you've been through the darkness, you've healed the darkness. You feel like, okay, this isn't sitting well with me. I'm healing it and now I'm moving on. So Thurs so Wednesday is just like, I don't know. I just feel like Wednesday is kind of like a really good day. This is, 
Also, the last two cards for Tuesday and Wednesday are major arcana. This is massive life shifting events in your life. You know, we're going through this amazing, crazy time and it's just preparing us for what we've asked for. It's looking different. And when things look different, yeah, it's okay to cry. It's okay to be upset and it's okay to be disappointed in the people that you actually expected to have your back and you'll be like, hang on a moment. Like that shit doesn't fly well with me. And how dare you act like that? But then it's like, Really, the only person that you can rely on in all of this is you. And if you feel like you haven't had that support, you know, the three of pentacles, if you felt like you didn't have that support this week, just know it doesn't necessarily have to be in your immediate family or in your friendship group. It can come online. Like the way our beautiful MK Love fam rallied together to support one of our MK Love fam who was suicidal this week just blew my mind. If you haven't already checked it out, I've put it in the highlights of my stories on my Instagram and all of the messages that he sent through was just overwhelmingly positive and uplifting and healing. And a lot of you were sharing your stories to be like, yeah, I was sexually abused too. And I'm letting you know when you speak your truth, that's one layer of the onion. And you just keep pulling back those layers and shedding that skin. And then you'll see who you were truly meant to be. You just lost sight of that along the way. So just know that it's going to get better. Okay, <laughs> Thursday. Thursday is also the last quarter of the moon, which is breathing with ease. It's also the time that Mercury retrograde ends, but then begins the two week shadow period. So it's like the worst of it is over, but then there's still two weeks of like, mm, just be mindful. It's just not as bad. Um, yeah, so for Thursday, we have the chariot, which we had last week too. Let me just check to see what day. What day did we have the chariot? We had the chariot on Wednesday last week. Ooh, so that's interesting that that has come up again. So the chariot is like fast moving energy. Remember I said to you, like you're on the right path and you're going in the direction of where you need to go. You're just not moving as fast. Maybe now that the sun has come out, the sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow come what may. So now that the sun has come out, it's like big wheels keep on turning. It's, it's interesting. Like, I feel like there's just so many massive shifts that you're having to deal with. I feel like this week is, is a lot better for you. So the movement is there and you're just like, like bring it, you know, just bring it. All right, Friday, what do you need to know for Friday? There we go. Holy smokes, it's the same card as last week, the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> we had this one, what day was this one? Wheel of Fortune was on Saturday last week. Okay, so we're getting a lot of mixture of the same cards, which has been happening like quite a lot recently. But also keep in mind that one, the last four days, like Tuesday to, what's that, Friday, are all massive shift of events. They're all major arcanas. This is like major life-defining moments in your life. So what the heck is going on for you guys at the moment? But this is, fortune is amazing. And, the, and that's five. Five is massive transformation. Massive transformation. I know a lot of you have been seeing a lot of fives because I put it on my Insta stories a couple of weeks ago saying I've been seeing five, 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 five. Next minute, move from Bali and I'm in Ireland now. So, <laughs> and I saw five, five again yesterday as I'm like calling in my dream clients because I can't wait to begin working with them on the 5th of April, which is the new moon. Yeah, this is amazing. Okay, Saturday. What do we need to know for Saturday? Saturday is... Did I flip a card? No, is still in the last quarter. So breathing with ease. So it's like breathing with ease. It's kind of like you're moving in the direction and the wheel of fortune can just come up. So this is like, this could be unexpected events. Well, breathing with ease is giving back from a place of love. Let me just get clarity on the wheel of fortune. Hold on a sec. Whoa, okay, so there's a lot. You know what the cards are? <laughs> The Two of Pentacles, which is balance, which we've been saying for how long? The Ten of Cups, which is like the balance of like material and financial, emotional. This is also like being blissed out. And then the Queen of Pentacles, like 
loaded abundance from and then you've got the ace of swords so beginning something new you're not dealing with all the other crap that you have been going through okay that was a lot and that was pretty like boom <laughs> Okay, so the fortune is coming in terms of balance, emotional stability, financial stability, and knowing that you don't have to deal with the things that you have dealt with before in terms of like your challenges and your obstacles. Okay, Saturday, let's try that again. Saturday, Saturday's energy feels different. What do we need today for Saturday angels for my MK love fan? Oh, okay. Wow. Wasn't expecting that. That's where the energy is different. It's a 10 of swords. So this is kind of like allowing what doesn't serve you, who doesn't serve you in terms of material aspects, relationships, career, financial, the crap, crap that you're like hoarding in your house. You have to allow whatever is going on whatever toxicity you are having to deal with, however that looks like for you in your life, you have to allow it to fall away. Don't hold on to it. If you start clinging to things that aren't in alignment with your true authentic self, your angels are gonna give you this massive divine intervention that's not going to be pretty. This could result in terms of relationships in like, if you have seen signs in your relationship that things aren't going well, Oh, I don't want to say that. Uh, this is like the sky fall. Let the sky fall, let it crumble, and we will stand tall and face it all together at sky fall. Yeah, this is just allowing what doesn't serve you to go away and don't hold on to it tightly because I've always said this, what is rightfully yours will always stay. You won't have to fight for that job. You won't have to fight for that relationship. You know, you will need to obviously put in work, but it's not going to come at your own detriment. You know, you won't have scars and bruises to be like trying to hold on. It will just be. And if something has to go away for a little bit, then so be it. You have to surrender to the process, however that is looking like for you in your life right now. Ten of Swords. That could be a bit of a challenge. Remember I said the energy felt different from Saturday from shuffling from Monday to Friday. Let's get clarity. Okay. As I was saying, let's get clarity on the 10 of swords. So it's got the star and the star actually last week was the focus for the week. So it's like you're allowing things to fall out, but knowing that it's just what I said before, knowing that it's, it has to because you've put this wish out, this intention, this dream life intention, manifestation out into the universe. And they're saying, darling, you think you want this, but what is coming is actually 10,000 times better than what you could have ever possibly imagined. And you have to let it go because what's coming, you're going to be like, oh my God, now I understand it. But in the midst of that kind of uncertainty and that funny feeling in your tummy and you're like that unsettling unknowing, that's tough to deal with. I'm not saying that that's easy. Letting go of things is bloody hard, but you have to do it because it's like you just need to tune into your higher self and know that you are going in the direction of where you need to be. It's just looking different. Ay, ay, ay. Is there a card that flipped? No. All right, let's see what we need to know for Sunday and then we'll pull the focus card of the week. Ooh. Sunday, please, angels. So my MK Love fam are breathing with ease. Thank you. Oh, okay, you're breathing with ease, all right, because you've got the Knight of Pentacles. So this is, the Knight is like, he's not getting off his dragon, whatever he is on. He's just moving and he's like on a quest towards the abundance. Pentacles is abundance. This could be financial abundance. This could be abundance in terms of your relationships. I don't know. Abundance is, is huge. So whatever is going on for your life, where is this abundance that you are like moving towards? Because I keep saying you're on the direction of where you need to go. Like we got the chariot on Thursday. You're heading in the right direction. The sun is out. The fortune is on your side. Yeah, things are falling back, but just say thank you, thank you, thank you. And in hindsight, you'll be like, oh my God, I'm so glad that that had to go away. Um... Because that means that you're making room for what's to come on. If you're holding tight, and I know some of you are going to do this this week and you're going to freak out. If you're holding on too tight, you are delaying the manifestation. 
If you surrender to the process, you will set yourself free. You will clear the slate and you will allow the abundance that is rightfully yours to make its way into your life. Oh, that's kind of nice. Let's get, let's see what the focus card for the week is. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay, so I read for the whole week. Focus. So what do you need to focus on throughout this whole week? So this is from March the 25th to the 31st, depending on where you are in the world. Okay. Ah, trusting. Okay, so we've got the three of wands, which is trusting the process, trusting that as you take that step, that that path is going to continue to form. There are people before you that haven't, that couldn't hack it, you know, that just gave up, but you're not going to give up because remember a couple of weeks ago, we were talking about what's your why? Why are you prepared to do the things that you haven't done before to get the results that you so desperately, not desperately, that's coming from a lack, that you want so much. This is trust. This week is all about trusting, trusting the process. Holy shit, that's going to be a big one for a lot of you. Trusting the process. If you are freaking out this week, don't do anything rash when you're out of alignment. So if you're freaking out going like, oh my God, my husband isn't home. What is happening? Blah, 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 blah. So going into that fear state and then you text him to be like, oh my God, um, where are you? Blah, blah, blah. Get yourself into alignment. Breathe in, hold breathe out, exhale, you know, whatever you need to do, listen to my meditations. Um, whatever your self-love practices are, whatever makes you feel good, you need to do more of that. Don't react from a place of uncertainty. React when you're in alignment, because that means you're moving up the emotional guidance scale. You went from fear, depression, some of you being suicidal, moving all the way up. You don't have to, you know, be at the top as long as you are um, seeing yourself progressively moving up when you're in like the top five tiers which is the frequency of love hopefulness I can't even remember what they are on the top of my head but basically the top the top five ish um well really anything above 12. I can't remember but from about here all the way up these are good so if you're in this vibration then you know that you are making decisions with a clear mind. If you're down the bottom, you're just wasting your time and you're going to, you know, this, this 10 of swords is going to be yucky for you. I don't want you to be caught up in the details of that. What I'm basically saying, long story short, is just trust the process. You are on the right path. Don't waver from the path of where you set that you want to be. Have the support surround you, the right people, the right people that actually give a shit about your well-being. They may not be the people that you thought. These are new people, you know, and if you need extra help, message me on Instagram. I'll get our MK Love fam to send you love. You know, the power of our fam is incredible. Um, and if you do need extra help, then please check out my free exclusive training because I'm going to teach you how to heal that emotional pain. I go through reprogramming your subconscious, like what happened to you in the first seven years of your life, like literally what happened to you in the first seven years of your life, because that's going to set up who you are as an adult now. Like the first seven years is the most crucial. Um, that's where a lot of the abuse that I'm dealing with with my dream clients is coming from in the first seven years of their life. Yeah, what was I saying about that? Oh yeah, check out the training. It's really, really good. <laughs> and then if you feel like you want to progress and you're like, Mel, I need more help, you have the option to book a free 45 minute chat with me. Um, yeah, and then we can go from there and see if, you, if you're a vibrational match to my coaching program and then I may invite you over to that. Keep in mind, I'm only looking for four dream clients. I've already got one of them so far. So looking for the other three. But hey, it could totally help you out. So trusting the process this week. The only card I'm kind of swayed towards is just be mindful of this one, the Ten of Swords. Listen to Skyfall from Adele, because that song, every time I see that card, it just reminds me of the lyrics to that song. It goes, this is the end. Hold your breath and count to ten. Feel the earth moving. For this is the end. I dreamt this. Dump, I don't know the words. <laughs> Anyways, it's all about trust. 
Cause you gotta have faith, faith, faith. If I could touch your body. I'm very there. All right, I feel I feel really I feel really positive about this week. Mercury retrograde is ending. We're entering the shadow period of that. Remember, Mercury retrograde is the communicate is the planet that rules communication, travel, and transport. And we've had a lot of craziness going up because there was some Mars energy in it, which Mars is like anger. Um, and then we had Chiron. Chiron is the planet of the wounded healer. That's why things haven't been going too peachy. But it's it's where you need to be. You know, you have to go through the shit to appreciate the light, you know? And the light's coming. The light's coming on Wednesday. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Weekly Angel Guidance. If you were one of my beautiful MK Love fam that joined me on the live chat right now, then thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're catching the replay, I truly appreciate you and I will read all of your comments. Remember, I'm only replying to people who join me on the live chat. Everyone else, once I get a chance to read them, I'll just give you a little heart just to just to let you know that I have read them. But I just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me know what's going on for you and I can't wait to hear about it. And if you need help and you're struggling, check out my free exclusive training and I will help you. Yeah, I'm living proof that you can literally change your life. You can reprogram your thoughts to higher vibrational and the things that used to cause you so much pain and you will like constantly battling with these, <clears throat> these issues, communication issues a lot of you have, not being able to speak your truth. I can help you with all of that through my intensive eight week coaching program. So if that floats your boat, check that out. If not, fabulous. And I will see you next week. I love you, I love you, I love you. Goodbye.